Hey guys, it's Amy with Aim to Plan, and I am here with my DEK Designs package. Super excited about opening up this package, but before I get into it, or I guess while I'm getting into it, I wanted to go ahead and give you a life update. It has been absolute insanity. And I mean, I don't use that word lightly as a psychologist, but like it has just been so busy around here. I feel like I'm just run ragged nowadays. I mentioned in a previous video that I was planning to, or like considering taking a pause in July from recording videos. And just based on how life has gone in the past like week, in just the past seven, eight days, I am going to take the pause. Um, I will be recording videos and just I have a couple of other videos planned before July hits and then um, I will still be recording a couple of videos here and there as I have time but yeah it's just been so busy around here that I just don't have the time to be able to sit and record um, and then with July rolling around and Sophia not being in summer camp anymore I just have even less time so it's a good chance for me to spend time with her and just take care of business, really. Um, so, with all that being said, I just wanted to give you that update, uh, just a short update before we jump into this package. This is DEK Designs. It is their July subscription box. I had to read it just to make sure. I don't even know what month it is. <laughs> right, so this is their July subscription kit. Um, I did actually pause or cancel my subscription for DEK Designs. I have been bleeding money like crazy, which I'll give you some of those updates when I record or if... I hope I still have time to record this. I'm planning to record a like a mid-year July to December kind of uh, budget update, um, but I'll talk about some of those numbers in that video. But yeah, I had to pause this subscription, cancel pretty much all of my planner subscriptions, just because like I am just spending a ton of money now. So it's kind of bittersweet because this will be the last package that I've received from them. I've received, I think, like four at this point, and they've all been lovely. So I'm excited about getting in it. Um, so DEK Designs does put their subscription in this like envelope, which is perfect because this is actually how I store my kits from other planner companies. And, you know, since it's already in here, I could just stick it into my drawer and call it, you know, done. So with that being said, let's get into it. This one is so dinged up. One thing I don't like is that they do put it into basically like an envelope they put cardboard in there to stabilize it but you know you can see like my mail person just squishes it into my mailbox so it ends up looking like that at the end of the day though i mean it does its job it puts all the items together so there's a couple of things here so let's see where we start right i'm not quite sure okay i'm gonna start here um this is like i guess their surprise item it's like this cute little bag um i actually really like this um and it's kind of like this nice like rainbow holographic foil um and this it looks like a pin pouch you know i would use it as a pin, pin pouch but i'm actually going to i think give this to sophia she loves these kind of like little bags to just kind of store some of her small toys so i think she would really love that i think i'll give that to her and then this one is a pin it says shans on there i don't know if you can see that or read that i don't know how well this thing is focusing um and it has one of the tips on there I'm not quite sure if this is gonna write well or not yeah it it's covered so um yeah so it's just a pen that I can't test out because I'm I am not willing to like undo that just to see what it looks like right um and so I have forgotten like I just jumped right in I didn't read the like welcome card there's something special about the month of July the starry sky wishes becoming reality and warm summer nights we hope this magical kit will help you manifest and achieve your goals and dreams thank you for your continued support all right this comes from dawn emily and katie right so i jumped into the first couple of items without opening that all right so i'm not going to swatch these um but this washi is just so cute it actually has like a celestial theme which you know honestly not my favorite so um this one is kind of like black and white gray um it has little like silver foiling bows and stars um but it has a floral pattern in the background so hopefully you can see that i don't know if that's coming across um on the camera and then this one is more of a starry sky right so hopefully you can see that i love purple so that's definitely like awesome i love that one all right and then they always have like a skinny washi with like bows like these bow designs right for one of their washies each month in the subscription so this one's purple i love that with silver foil and these are like super cute i like this one um it is purple with like silver like swatches like silver foiled swatches i really love that okay so this is my favorite of the four okay so there's that all right let's get into let me save the stickers for last let's get into the papers first um, and so with each subscription kit, you do get like a couple of 
patterns of paper here. Um, and so this one is this pattern right here. Um, yeah, so it, it comes with basically one design a piece. Um, and so this one is like florals on the side and then like a giant moon planet. Oh, I don't know. I'm not really big into the celestial theme, right? So there's that first one. Um, and then this one is like, it looks like it looks kind of like glitter. It's not glitter, but it's like meant to mimic glitter stores. And I love this one. This is beautiful. All right, definitely like, I love that. All right, so it's kind of florals and celestial, which is, I feel like kind of a weird combo. Maybe that's just me. All right, and then um, each of the subscriptions does have a piece of vellum, right? So there, this is the vellum for the month, right? And I love this. This is gorgeous. Um, it's dark enough though that, you know, like you can layer it. Of course you can layer it, but like you can see here, oh my gosh, like, like where it's not the saturated color, you can kind of see it peek through. So that's beautiful, All right? And then here we have this kind of pattern. And again, like the celestial theme here with like some of the stars and picture of the moon. I do like this one, All right? So that's the third one. And this is the fourth one. So you get four cardstock and like one vellum, All right? <laughs> this is actually really pretty. I love that, All right? And again, florals, All right? Again, not really sure about the celestial and floral theme going together, but you know, We'll just go with it. All right, and so then there are like three sticker kits and then this kind of die cut kit. I actually really love this envelope, super cute. All right, I'm gonna put it back in that envelope so I better not lose that. All right, so this one says it's just a phase and it's actually on like translucent, a translucent kind of like, you kind of see my palm through it, I think. It says it's just a phase and it's on like purple, it's cute, so cute. All right, phases of the moon here on like holographic foil reach for the stars that first one wasn't a sticker but these this one and this one are stickers this one is a sticker as well it says moon goddess and i think these are vinyl i'm not quite sure no they feel they feel vinyl-y to me <laughs> you can they're paper on top but you can they're probably strong enough to like be on vinyl just not waterproof All right so here's a crystal pattern i love that right, this is definitely this is definitely, I would use this as vinyl, right? So here's a moon, moon, question mark. I have no idea. Again, not into the celestial theme really, right? This is super cute. I actually really love that, right? And then look at this. This is cute. I like that. All right, so now this kind of makes sense with the celestial and floral theme together, right? So this is like one of their journal cards or in fact, the journal card for the month. Put that back in there. All right, super cute. All right. Some of the items I'm liking a lot more than others. And I guess it's just like the, the styling of it, you know, like it's not that I can't get into the celestial theme. I mean, I don't keep up with moon phases and that kind of thing, you know, but all right, here's the July sup, the smaller sticker set. All right, so here are the phases of the moon. I'm assuming this is for the month of July and probably for our hemisphere, North America. Um, so then here is July. This is like the journaling, like smaller journaling kits, right? So there's some like journaling kind of like mimics washi strips, I guess, right? But then a couple of like journal, I mean, sorry, July stickers. These are cute. This is really cute. I love purple. So love this sheet. Ooh, I love this one too, right? So, you know, like this looks like these two, actually most of these look like the cardstock, but they're just formatted for like these kind of um, corners, like scrapbook mimics, like scrapbook, like torn look, right? So those are one of the kits. And it does come with like these three sticker kits, right? So there's a smaller like journaling set, then there's a monthly set and a weekly kit, right? So here's the monthly set, if I can figure out how to open it. Sometimes it's sealed on the front and sometimes it's on the back. Okay, so here's the monthly kit. Right, so here are the date covers, right? And so you would use this across the top of your planner. And then of course the date covers, there's a washi strip and then some corners, right? Super cute, All right? And then of course, July, 2022, hopefully I'm in frame. I switched up my setup and so now I don't know what, what I'm doing, All right? So it says 4th of July, obviously, and then payday right here in the middle, rent, mortgage, bill due, and then a bunch of bill dues here and a couple like smaller icon pieces. All of it's hollow foil, super cute. Right, again, currently watching, reading, listening, road trip, birthday, party, crafting, birthday, and then a couple of deco pieces. And then all of these are bill due, all right? Again, hopefully I'm in frame. <laughs> and then 
here are some square boxes that you can use in your monthly boxes. Some of these are like full squares and some are half squares, like these are half squares. Um, and so you can use these to just decorate like random boxes. There's also a very long sidebar right here um, that you can use. All right, so again, like I like the vibe of like all of this together. Wasn't really feeling the cardstock too much, but like this is super cute, I love that. Okay, and then lastly is the weekly kit. Again, gotta figure out how to open it. Sometimes it's like sealed on the front, and sometimes it's on the back. So the monthly kit was sealed on the front, and this one is sealed on the top in the front. <laughs> All right, I just can't figure out life, you know? You'd think I'd be able to open some stickers, being a sticker hoarder and all that. All right, so here we go, getting into this one. This again is the weekly kit. So it always comes like with these like date dots and they do match the vibe of it with like the hollow foil, right? So you get the one through 31 and then payday, shopping list, hump day, plan, errands, grateful, tr does that say trash eve? Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. You, you put it out your trash the night before. Laundry, tidy up, happy mail, Walmart, and Target run. I've just never heard it called Trash Eve. That's kind of, that's kind of funny. All right, and so these are sized for vertical layout. Um, for the Happy Planner, which is what I use, it will be a little bit shorter than the Happy Planner like vertical box, um, but I think it works just fine. Again, I love this. The stickers are amazing, right? So the hollow foil, you can kind of see that here. I think that's gorgeous. Love that. Right? And I can kind of see where the floral and celestial theme is kind of coming together here with the stickers, right? So again, love this. Look at this one. I love this one too. All right, so loving the stickers. Look at this one. This one's so cute. Okay, so this is like more functional boxes. Right? There's some deco boxes up here, but then there's some like kind of functional boxes. Like I use these to kind of like layer and put like a regular box on top of it just to write on or I just write right in the box, right? So here are some like boxes essentially and then here we have some flags half circles bows and then um like 12 work boxes right there very functional right? and then here are all of your labels right so there's some washi labels um as well as like today to do i can't read that meals to do this week today today to do and then like some more moons and then some like smaller deco pieces weekend right um i can't read that one I have no idea what that says. Oh, it says exercise, I think. There's some like issues with foiling um, on, on this sheet. All right, and then this one, again, like two more weekends and then some checklist boxes, right? Um, and look, more crystals. And then here, days of the week, washi strips, these hexagons, smaller hexagons, and then like this kind of arched box. Don't know how to describe that. All right, and then here are the rest of the days of the week if I turn it the right way. So you can see it's like different designs for each of the week, it does follow the theme. So you're able to kind of like match up with the theme for the entire month. And then just boxes that you can write in. I feel like this is too dark of a color for me to write right in the box. I feel like I would need to like layer it with like just a white box right on top. And then here are the smaller deco pieces. This is like my go-to, right? I love being able to use these deco pieces just throughout my spread. And then of course the dolls, these are super cute. Like she looks so gorgeous right i love her hair i wish i could do my hair like that right so there's always like some some dolls and girls like look at these nails Ooh, that's a nice design again i'm not really big into the celestial theme so it's not my favorite kit but some of the stickers are like gorgeous i love being able to use stickers um especially stickers that are outside of my comfort zone it's totally fine to use stickers that you don't really like you know it's for a week you can live with the stickers and just use them all up right so this was my unboxing of my last crying face sad voice um subscription kit from dek designs um i am looking forward to giving you some life updates shorts some like youtube shorts and just kind of like posting semi-regularly in the month of july but my goal is to go ahead and take a break from longer videos in july and so um feel free to contact me if you want to talk on instagram just you know follow the link in my description box so you can kind of follow along with me there. Um, I will be posting again, like I'll try to post on Instagram. I'm not great at posting on Instagram, but I'll try to post some like updates on like what's going on with life and some in progress type stuff. Uh, and again, I'll try to do some of that stuff here on YouTube as well. It just won't be every day or almost every day like I've been trying to do lately. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. Let me get everything in frame before I say my last goodbyes, right? And this is everything I got. So uh, until the next video, whenever that might be, 
Bye, guys.